So this is Eric and Robert from Spiral 16, and we're here with Valeria Moltani, who spoke uh, today about rethinking uh, your business in the age of the social consumer. And it was a pretty heady presentation. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that people really need to be thinking from the ground up about how they're going to restructure and the things that they need to think about. Um, what I wanted to ask you is, what do you think the biggest challenge is? Um, like, like from what you're seeing, the feedback that you're getting, the thing that, that maybe uh, companies are the most resistant to doing? So I think that there is a little bit of an addiction uh, from the company standpoint um, to the consulting uh, business. Um, so, you know, bring in the consultant or bring in the agency, get them to, you know, do all of the thinking for us. Uh, you know, we give them as much or as, as little um, information as we can. In my experience, many businesses don't give agencies or, you know, consultants a lot, you know, depending on who's hiring them. And then, you know, let's ask them to do the thinking for us. Mm -hmm. And I think that outsourcing the thinking is a very dangerous um, thing to do. And that's why... The, the fundamentals, heady or not, of my conversation with the market and why I'm rethinking the way I'm doing everything is we need to get back to basics. And in order for us to get back to basics, we need to help businesses to do some hard thinking for themselves. So we need to help them um, look at the assets that they have, the assets that they created that may not have intended to, uh, which is the, the hardest skill in the business, but it's also the most useful. And uh, look at those, look at how we trade those assets and the promises that we make uh, so that we can make the, better, the best promises uh, in the market. And, uh, and then um, those promises are those which give back strength, resilience, and endurance to businesses. And so, you know, it's, in the end, it's a very simple conversation, but simple is not easy, right? Um, so, you know, that's, that's the crux of what I want to convey um, to businesses. And um, communicators and marketers and PR people are generally right now, um, there's some customer service folks, certainly, who are tasked with deploying um, the organization or spreading the brand messages and interacting in social channels. And I feel it's really important for us um, and, and for this group um, to, to get uh, what these trades are and to be able to understand, you know, to be in conversation, to be able to take advantage of those exchanges in the moment and find those trading opportunities so they can make the best promises possible. So in other words, the, the business, your business hasn't changed. It's just the outlet. It's the, the things that you're, that you're putting out there that, that are different. You need to go back to basics when it comes to understanding what makes your business new, unique and what your value proposition is. Well, it, it, that, and also you could be creating assets um, that you're not aware of, that you could be trading. Um, so it's very important to be listening as a do action and feeding that back into the business. And um, you know, we looked at some examples of companies that have found those opportunities by being in the moment. They went out with one thing and they came back with another, and uh, which helped in a way transform the business and uh, you know, kind of move upstream uh, in startup um, ecology or, or language, we talk about pivoting. And you know, kind of, we went out with this idea, but the market is telling us, or, and customers are telling us that they are using us this way. And so we're going to embrace that and lean into it and trade that, because that is what is giving the business, um, you know, those those things that it needs. You know, the the endurance, the resilience, and the strength. Uh, Larry, during the um, while you were speaking up there, one of the most retweeted things. That that uh, that you mentioned was when you defined what a brand was, and I thought that was uh, really good. So I, if you wouldn't mind uh, for the for the camera to, <laughs> to recapture that and kind of explain how you came up with that and where that came up with, because it was retweeted by virtually everyone in attendance. I think that's really really neat. So the brand it's interesting because it, the brand is brand is an interesting asset. Yeah, you create an asset. Uh, in different ways, in different industries, etc. But in general, it's interesting because you can trade it in flow. 
And so, um, you know, you can do certain things with the brand that you don't do with other things. Um, and um, what, the way I define a brand is the sum of promises made, the promises kept, and the unbounded expectation market. And so, um, explaining it a little bit further, there is a lot of potential and a lot of possibility that is there if you are in the conversation and in the moment and you're able to capitalize on that. However, if you go into the conversation expecting to see certain things, those are the things that are going to show up. So you need to be aware that you may be doing that to yourself. Um, the other part of that conversation is you make promises. Those promises are you know, kind of in the expectations market until you pay them off, until you deliver on them. And you know, when you make that connection really close, that's when you put value back into the brand and you, have, you earn that ability, uh, that capital, and that ability to go out there and make better promises. That's extremely helpful. Thank you so much. Um, it was a great talk today and uh, it was really great meeting you and, and thanks for doing the interview. Thank you. Awesome.